Hey guys, Joel here from American Survival Co. And this is going to be a unique video. I recently made a cast net, as some of you may have seen, but I couldn't have done it without the help of my friend, Mr. Michael Yusina. Mr. Yusina is a master net maker out of St. Augustine, Florida. He's got a long lineage tied to St. Augustine. He's of Menorcan descent and he can trace, you know, his sixth generation grandfather back to St. Augustine. He's a very interesting man. He's got lots of history knowledge and he still makes handmade cast nets in much the same fashion as his ancestors did. Now, I was excited to meet Mr. Yusina and find somebody to help me fill in those blanks, like learn that stuff that you just can't learn from a book. You know, I was very ambitious in what I did know, but you know, I never fully completed a project and so I had missing information and he was more than helpful. <laughs> so, um, as a favor, I wanted to film some of the stuff that he was teaching me and one of the things that's very unique about his nets is he makes his own lead sinkers. And so I met up with Mr. Yusina and his buddy Phil Castillo, uh, who often helps him make nets. Um, and we made a whole mess of sinkers. And so I wanna show you some of the, the finer tidbits of that. Um, a lot of good information there and I've seen stuff on forums where people were asking questions. And uh, so hopefully you'll find this video and hopefully it'll come in handy for you someday, especially if you got that itch to make yourself a cast net. There's no finer way to get a net that throws awesome than to make it yourself. Um, Quality, not quantity, is what I'm all about. And so, without further ado, here's Mr. Yusina and the process we went through. My name's Mike Yusina. I'm with UbMenorcanMagic.com. I'm here with uh, fellow net makers, uh, Phil Castillo, and my typical brain stall that I get from being an old fart, Joel Graves. Uh, these guys have gotten interested in this and have really excelled and, and I'm really proud of Joel because especially because he, he, he taught himself. He basically learned how to make nets out of a book, which uh, is difficult. But anyhow, anyhow. What we're doing today, we're going to make sinkers. He's going to go on Joel's net. He has handmade himself a net, probably six and a half foot. Is that correct? And, and with that, uh, he needs sinkers. And uh, we use lead sinkers. Uh, we don't use plastics or, or any of the sort that you buy on these Japanese and Chinese nets. We use strictly a... And therefore, you have to melt it. Uh, all this talk about lead being very, very hazardous. Lead is hazardous if you decide to eat it. As long as you don't eat it, I think you're all right. And always melt lead in a well-ventilated area where you've got uh, uh, plenty of ventilation where you're not going to be inhaling those fumes. With that, that's what we're going to do. We're fixing to make Joel 184, I think, sinkers he needs to put on his, on his net. And uh, then he'll be good to go. Now, what we're going to do? Uh, I'm just going to pull one. See, it's not hot enough. You can tell. I think. And then right away, you want to run it through that soap. It puts a coating on there. See, see the sinker didn't form because oh, okay. it's not hot enough yet. The mold's not hot. The lid's okay, but the mold's simply not hot enough. So the, the mold's you, cooling off the lead too quick. Correct. So it's yeah. Yeah. Basically, that's what it's doing. But um, as you keep pouring, the mold gets warmer and warmer. Yep, it gets and warmer and warmer. And the form will get better. Absolutely. Do not forget this. It cannot water. Uh, one drop of water, it will explode right in your face. It is, that's the one thing about, uh, I don't know, I guess that would do that to any metal, perhaps. Uh, if you drop water in it while it's boiling, I mean, we know while it's hot. Getting better. 
it turns into instant steam, and steam is very powerful. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you this story about I had it blow up in my face one time, unbeknown. Ah, there you go. See, let's make that nice sinker now. See, what we'll have to do when we finish making them is, is cut that off and then sand, you know, just sand it off. Okay. So what you do with that mold, uh, you know, every time, that, every time you pour, the, you want to run it through soap, then you put it back into your... Uh, now what I'm going to do this time, Joe, I'm probably going to, uh, you're going to work up to doing, doing all three of them. It takes a bit to get that mold good and hot before we do that. So what we're going to do, i got to start dumping them because Phil, he's foaming at the mouth to, to peel them. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got the thing. We've made, we've made so damn many of these <laughs> that it ain't fun. I give you everything situated. <laughs> And then I, I usually take them out like this and then just tap them out the mold. Lead cools real fast. Mm -hmm. Very fast. In the old days, uh, of all things, uh, the old old timers would take, they would, like I just dumped them out on the ground, they would dump them in a bucket of water. they hit the water, you know, and, and uh, they're cool instantly. But again, you had to be cautious of the water fooling around that melting lead. But uh, we've just, I just decided, you know, over time, it, I mean, it, they, they cool so fast. I mean, I could pick these up. You saw me pour them. I mean, they're completely cool. Yeah, I mean, they're just, uh, so with that said, they, uh, doesn't take long, so you don't have to do anything hazardous, you know, to do that. Okay. You see, I let that say what I'm doing. I'm let that sit sit on the table. Then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna. I always pour this one first. I don't know why. I don't think it makes no damn difference which one you do first. Let's see if we don't get three good ones this time. That lid's getting good and hot. This will go fast. And then see, I'm gonna grab that, and just give it a twist. I'm gonna give it a twist, and I'm gonna pull it out with a little effort. You know, effort for you young fellows. Then I'm gonna run it through that soap every time, and don't forget because you forget one time, you reach up there to pull it out, it ain't gonna want to come out. Mm, looks good, doesn't it? And when you cut the excess off, you get as close as you yeah, can. Yeah, you gotta cut that real close. That's less work later. See? Then, uh, then you file it down flush. Okay. The issue is, is uh, it does it makes a mess. You can't put them on the on your net with sharp edges. Plus, the holes kind of fit just a tiny bit, and you you want them to slide on that lead line without uh, on that rope. You use a quarter inch solid braid nylon rope. I use anyhow. And uh, some of them you don't have to hardly touch. Holes make pretty good sinker anyway. All right. Beautiful day to do this, I must say. A counter sinker? You put yeah. on a little hand drill. And it just makes it a little bit faster. Oh, you know, at the end, you take the burrs off and just file it. Anything to speed it up. Yeah. We have finished what we've done, uh, Joel and, and Phil and I have finished making the sinkers for Joel's net. Uh, he handmade a net. He did a beautiful job. It's ready to go. And uh, now the sinkers are ready, so it'll be up to him to sew them on it, in which, which I'm sure he'll have no problem doing that. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to, uh, to make a net yourself, or if you, if you want to uh, buy one complete, I sell them in either uh, uh, nylon or braided acrons, a beautiful net. You can look us up. I have a website. It's called menorcanmagic.com, and that's M-E-N-O-R-I-C-A-N-M-A-G-I-C, one word, dot com. And uh, 
you, I think you'll find it interesting. We do sell, like I say, the videos on showing you how to do this. With that said, we thank you. Okay.